Hello everyone, and welcome back to another live stream. Well, not live stream, more like a Q&A. So, I left out a community post doing, asking you guys asking me questions and such, and I'll be happy to answer them upon this video. Figured I would do, like get started with this. Originally, it was going to be due on Friday, but I had another thing in the way. So, yeah, let's get started with this. First question, Shadex1341 asks, have you ever tried speedrunning a game? Yes, I have. I attempted speedrunning Halo 2 and Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Those were the two games that I've been doing speedruns on. My favorite trick to do for Halo 2 is breaking the map boundary, since you can just easily do that. And point up that sword trick, it's hard, but once you get it down, you can actually do it where you snipe, you scope in with one of the zoom in weapons, then you immediately switch and swing the sword, and it will zoom cheap onto like the other side of the freaking map. I don't know how people pull that off. The other speedrunning method for Garden Warfare 2 is playing as the fast characters like Citron and Super Brains and just blazing through some of the missions, although the ops missions say otherwise, so those are my favorite tricks. Chad Peterson asks, what upcoming movie or game are you the most excited for? Well, I don't really have much into the game department since <laughs> there's barely anything I could see as good and every game that people talk about, most of it end up being bad. Though the Mario movie does look a bit appealing, so I definitely want to be excited for that. Which video game do you think should be adapted, and which company should do it? Honestly, I would like um, another Batman game, or in fact, a Transformers game to be adapted. Platinum Studios should definitely do the Transformers games, and I think I would have someone else do Batman. Not sure who, but... Rockstay did do their fair shares with it, considering that Arkham Knight is still getting popular reception. Which bit of good media would you like for Super Origami Kingdom to do a review on? I definitely would like a review on some of the new superhero movies, especially since I've been seeing a lot of talk about them. And I definitely would like to see them talk about like forgotten stuff that was great during like the time, because... <laughs> There's a lot of great stuff that just ended up being forgotten, but I would definitely be up for some, like, good bit of media from, like, the superhero characters or, like, favorite characters in general. User one Campbell asks, which do you prefer, Insanto or Moana? Moana. I haven't watched Insanto, however you pronounce it, but it does look a bit alright for the most part. Do you think split screen should return as a common option in modern gaming? Yes, it should. Bring it back. We need split screen. It just sucks that a lot of games don't even have it. Bring it back. Like, split screen was the great thing during this time, and you're telling me you can't bring it back? Bring it back. We love split screen. Which side of the combined company is the worst in your opinion? Activision or Blizzard? Blizzard, of course, considering they've been receiving a lot of negative reception, especially with NFTs. Ugh. Nathan Files asks, what's your favorite color? Red. If you could be in any franchise, which would it be and why? As for the Zombies franchise, I definitely would love to be in there. I've read a lot of the comic books and they were intriguing. Definitely could see what type of plants I could be making. Bud Solo Game Room asks, what's your favorite console childhood, Xbox or PlayStation 2? Both of which, I'm both a fan of both these generation consoles. I grew up with the Xbox and the game that I've been playing a lot was Halo Combat Evolve. And as for PlayStation 2, Transformers the game and Star Wars Battlefront Duology. What inspired you to start your channel? <coughs> Sit back everyone because this is going to be quite a bit of a long one. What inspired me to do my channel is a bit of a history, I do say so myself. You see, 
I've been seeing videos of a lot of things, you know, final boss themes, boss themes in general, all this stuff. But it got me thinking, no one has done things like the Ratchet and Clank or boss themes, even though there was a video about it that was like four years ago. And no one has really done anything else in terms of like other video topics like with Spyro. So it got me thinking, why don't I do that? Why don't I be the one to actually do the videos on these things if no one else is going to do them? Like, I feel like I want to talk about things in terms of countdowns, showcase, like, what things that we missed out on, and show it that it could be possible to do all this awesome stuff. So I decided to take up the task of making all these projects, although one video project I definitely wanted to work on was the Nintendo All Final Boss theme video. That's gonna be a monster to do. <laughs> if anyone is willing to help me, that would be awesome, but that one, oh boy. I tried to do that, it didn't work out. But who knows, I may do it in the future. Elite Deadlock 07 asks, which Final Boss theme do you like? Negawiss Armor Phase 2. Just Tim asks, what is your favorite Sonic character in the Sonic franchise, and what's your favorite Sonic game? Sonic character, if we're talking about Hero, Silver the Hedgehog, Villain, Mephiles the Dark. Favorite Sonic game, Unleashed. I easily love that game so much. Generations comes close. Sonic 3 Prototype Sonic the Hedgehog asks, have you ever done something bad as a kid and you didn't even know? Not that I recall of. I've done my fair shares in the past, but eh, not a lot that I can really think off the top of my head. Ferencilla Pacifico, sorry for pronouncing your name, do you think games in Roblox are underrated? It depends on like the certain games that show up in Roblox because I do think Doors is a bit underrated and overpopulated as such, but it all depends on it since I'm not a huge fan of Roblox, I don't really like the game, but yeah. Peace Shooter MVP asks, when was your YouTube dark age, time your channel had low views and no subscriber change? Last year, or I think like two years ago, I don't know, it was around during the summer vacation last year, and it was just rough. My channel wasn't really going anywhere. The views did say a lot, but it wasn't enough. My subscriber count didn't really change that much when I was doing the Final Boss theme compilation. And it was pretty rough, all things considered. But at least I managed to get back on my, on my feet, all thanks to Isaiah Kim and the Kirby Final Boss theme video, where I finally get the upper edge of YouTube. Derek asks, what is one of the games you have never played that you really want to and why? Bloodborne is one of them. Even though I may not be a fan of Dark Souls as entirely, but Bloodborne was a game that definitely struck me considering how popular it is. The Ratchet and Clank franchise is definitely one of them. Same with Elden Ring. What is your most favorite and hated TV show? Favorite TV show is a tie between Transformers Prime and Lego Ninjago. Hated. Teen Titans Go and the Halo TV show. They are both awful. What is your most favorite and hated movie? That's a hard one considering I have a lot of favorite movies. But I would say mo uh, most of the DreamWorks movies and a few of the Disney movies can come into mind, the old ones. And as for hated movie, well, that's kind of a hard bargain. Considering i am not been really watching a lot of movies, but it's definitely some of the few movies that the Super Origami Kingdom has covered, like... Sub Sub 2... <sighs> Lustian and Loser has, would you read this question and answer it even though it has no meaning behind it whatsoever? Yes! DG 7 sorry for the first name pronunciation, which game do you like and why do you like it? Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Reasons? 
beautiful graphics, amazing soundtrack that is pure ear candy, the boss lineup is perfection, if we're not counting the mini bosses, however, and the abilities that are fun, it's just an enjoyable game and an enjoyable experience that I definitely had a lot of fun going through. Definitely one of the best games I played around during 2022. Del Dealy, sorry, as favorite Pokemon. A tie between you two, the Shadow version, and my boy, Ultra Necrozma, which is my picture, by the way. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for the questions. Thank you all for sharing out your questions and what you had to offer. Really appreciate it. If you guys want me to do another q and I'll be happy to do another one. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. I'm probably going to take a little break. So I'll definitely have some stuff ready. And until next time, y'all.